Uh, one day I uh, try uh, to work at Radio Haiti, two years as a freelance. Then the owner said, are you interested in buying the station? That was it. I had my chance. I took the chance. It was under the dictatorship of Francois Duvalier, the father. It was a very, very risky business. Radio then was not a news media. It was entertainment. And I start step by step, inch by inch, to introduce two things. First, Creole, because radio in this Creole-speaking country was a French-speaking media. And Creole, as a very colorful language, is not only a language of words, it's a language of uh -huh. Uh -uh. And those signs were understood all over the country. Implication. And in this, uh -huh, there was three makut involved. And I tried to introduce information. Risky business. Twice I was summoned to the police, spending 19 hours. Like that, not a single gesture on the right or on the left. Bang! Okay, that was the game. It was exciting. It was uh, challenging. Sodo, ville bonheur. Sodo, ville mystère. Sodo, ville misère. Tandis que le parvis de l'église grouille comme avant de ce monde de boiteux, d'éclopés, de mendiants, de pustuleux, de bancal, de difformes, tandis que les autres, attirés par la nécessité, venus pour implorer, poussent au ciel leurs plaintes et hurlent leurs prières, chantant dans ce tohu-bohu de huit jours d'une fête dérisoire, la misère et les faux espoirs de l'homme, la tragédie et la terreur d'un peuple éveillé, les yeux ouverts, grands ouverts. Chacun dans cette foule est isolé dans sa douleur, muré dans son expression. Ce mur invisible qui entoure chacun permet à chacun, sans risquer les oreilles indiscrètes, de raconter sa vie, de clamer à haute voix sa prière à la Vierge, aux lois guinins, aux saints, aux anges, et de réclamer des miracles. Cette laideur, cette grâce, cette profonde solitude, renvoie à une profonde servitude de l'homme haïtien, pris dans le filet jaloux de ses craintes mystiques, tissé sur une pauvreté de démunis à la limite du vivable. Et ça y là, comme des îlots de ferveur collective, les hommes et les femmes de ces confréries venus du fin fond d'Haïti gardent encore l'amour des dieux, l'amour du sacré africain. Et cette expressivité si fortement haïtienne, qui jaillit de chaque gouttelette de la chute d'eau sacrée, de chaque cri de pèlerin, qui se tord de douleur dans les cordelières liturgiques, la terre et les eaux, le sol et les plantes, le sous-sol, ses fruits, l'eau et le soleil, les hommes et les dieux, la vie et le rêve, la réalité et le sommeil. Sodo, ville bonheur, Sodo, ville mystère, Sodo, ville misère, Sodo, ville d'espoir. It was the first time in the radio history of Haiti that there was this broadcast. But it was something fantastic because during this 1973 season of Sodo, a vodou feast, a vodou fiesta, I listened to and I recorded the expression of anger, of resistance against them, against the diable. And 
If you listen carefully, who is the jab? Who is them? It was the Mahout. The elite was very hypocrite. They were supposed to be French-speaking elite, speaking Parisian. They were supposed to be Catholic. They were supposed to be modern. Being Catholic, going to Mass every Sunday, mean that Vodou was the devil because it was the religion of the poor people. Mm. 